Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Winter Combat Captain America figure that was produced by Hasbro as a part of the Captain America, the first Avenger line of products. I picked this up recently at Target for $7.99. When I first got this figure out of its blister pack, I was immediately disappointed with it in several ways. For one thing, just getting the figure to stand on a base like what I've been using here for my Captain America figure reviews, that's almost an exercise in futility because the uh, figure does have a tendency to fall over backwards because of the uh, gigantic coat that he's wearing. However, on a positive note, uh, the figure's uh, clothing does look good. The uh, camouflage pattern on the pants, that looks good. Uh, the detailing on the collar of the coat, that looks good too. Uh, the paint apps for the mask, nicely done, uh, as well as the uh, detailing on the combat boots. Those all look uh, nice. Anyway, uh, this figure comes with two accessories, so let me pan down real quick and I'll show you what they are. Okay, and as you can see, first up, uh, Captain America does not come with a shield. However, he does come with this uh, snowboarding board that has the familiar design on the shield that we're all accustomed to seeing. He also comes with this uh, bazooka weapon. Now, another complaint that I do have about this figure is that the uh, weapons, for the most part, even though they're uh, gigantic, they do have um, a button that you can push and the weapon will fire. Not so with this particular accessory. With this, you have to physically force it in, like so, and this end will pop out. You have to hold it, and then it acts like a slingshot. I am not a fan of that at all. I think that's a very, very poor uh, concept on Hasbro's part, and I would have much rather have had uh, a weapon like that rocket launcher that comes with Red Skull uh, to uh, fire via a button that you can push. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a 360 of the figure and let you all see what the uh, detailing looks like from all sides. So as you can see, he's, he's vibrating pretty good. He's about ready to fall again. So I hope he'll stay up long enough for me to do this. Okay, there we go. So overall, um, I'm not impressed with this figure by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I'm going to have to say that this is uh, a definite pass unless you're uh, a completist uh, for your Captain America figures. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.